The goal of today's live stream is to try to show you something that I'm working on this week, kind of playing with, through OBS and NDI. Now, OBS is very similar to a program that I use on a weekly basis called ProPresenter 7. ProPresenter is targeted towards uh, businesses that do uh, conferences and conventions, training seminars. It's targeted toward the, the, the worship ho houses of worship that do uh, presentation, media presentation every week. Uh, maybe government, government agencies that, that do something similar as well. And uh, I've been tinkering with OBS. I, there are a lot of great videos out here uh, about OBS. I know there are a lot of folks who are, who are much more versed in OBS than I am, but I'm, I'm doing my best to take the tools I have and get all I can out of them. And so today I'm going to try to not only use my Mevo Start, which is who I'm talking to today at, at this moment, uh, and not only use OBS, which is a free resource that's downloadable, uh, 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 in addition to NDI, which New Tech uh, has released uh, quite some time ago, as also a free tool. I I'm going to be using those tools with something else that I've highlighted a couple of times in different videos, my Pivo Pod. Now, the way I've highlighted it before is that I've, I've used it in the streaming scenario of just using it as a panning piece of equipment to allow me to pan left and right, uh, up and down, so to speak, a football field or a, a base, uh, a, a basketball court or volleyball court. And, and that's, that's the one way that I've used this piece of, of equipment in my stream. And today, what I would like to do is use the PivoPod as it was intended with its accompanying software the Pivo software. It's designed to be able to stream on its own, but I'm going to see if I can pull it into OBS, use it as one of my sources. Now today I'm going to use the Mevo Start as a source. I'm going to use the MacBook using the Scan Converter tool from NewTech. It's part of the NDI suite of tools you can download from their website. I'm going to use both of those and I'm going to see if I can add my iPhone running Pivo software and see if I can get it to work as another input into OBS. So here we go. I have, uh, I have on my MacBook, I'm going to bring that up on, on your screen right now. I have, I have running, running on my, my MacBook. MacBook. If I kill that, yes, okay. So I still have sound coming through the auxiliary through the, the sound in. Uh, I hope sound is, is still, um, I hope sound is still working the way it's supposed to. I'm trying to monitor it here to my right on my iPad. Uh, so now I have uh, OBS up in front of you. You can see that I have three scenes already set up. In the first scene, I have my Mevo Start, what we're talking to you on right now. I also have a third scene, which is uh, all that you see before you on my screen on the MacBook. So scene, uh, the first scene is is the start, the third, but the second scene, I don't have anything attached to yet. So you can see it's just a, a, a blank black screen so far. Now I have my OBS set up in studio mode so that I can see both the preview on the left and the program or the output on the right. So here in my sources for scene two, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add another NDI source. All three of what I'm doing today are going to be NDI sources. The, in, the Mevo Start is running through NDI. The, of course, the scan tools on my MacBook desktop is also running uh, an, as an NDI source. But my third NDI source is going to be the iPhone that is, that is out here too that's sitting on the Pivo pod and running the software. So let's add an NDI source here. We're going to call that... I guess if I put this microphone on, it probably works a whole lot better. We're going to call this source the Pivo. Okay. And we're going to let that source be that iPhone display. Now, the tool I'm running on the iPhone is NDI HX Capture. Now, that's going to try to come in as the traditional portrait mode of the iPhone. So I'm going to take and I'm going to right click or to tap on a MacBook uh, touch uh, 
mm -hmm. touchpad and transform that and rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. And then I'm going to also ask it to fit to screen. Oh, I'm going to have to rotate it again to do that though, huh? All right. 90 degrees counterclockwise. <laughs> well, this is turning into a mess, isn't it? Let's see if we can get that up where we want it. All right. That's going to be a little bit odd in its resizing, but you can begin to see that I have a PIVO app running. Uh, that's not the Mevo Start. The Mevo Start is over here. There's the Mevo Start. That's, that's what I've greeted you with today. Scene two, the PIVO. Now it's, now it's on me. That's, that's the PIVO. Now that I'm looking, I'm pointing to my iPhone running the PIVO app. I've got it on body follow. That's a, a feature built into uh, the PIVO software there, the app that runs on the, on the iPhone. And so what I'm going to do, unplug this wireless here so it can go with me. What I'm going to do is show you, now I'm going to, I keep this just loose enough that I can tip it one way or the other so it can stand up or, or sit down with me. I'm going to show you when it went on body follow, well, what we have here is this little PIVO is going to follow me wherever I go in my office. Now, I apologize. My office is a mess. It's, a, it's never really clean. It's always a little bit cluttered. But you can see wherever I go, this is going to follow me. I'll, I'll go far enough around. I, I know lighting is probably going to be terrible with this, but far enough around you can even see the MIVO that I had pointing at me when I was sitting in my chair over there. So the great thing about having this as an input, an iPhone sitting on top of a PIVO, is that you get 360 degree follow. If I had a path around my office, I could make laps around in here and you'd be able to see, tilt that back down so when I sit down it still sees me. You'd be able to see me, I could go no limit. It, it, it just rotates all the way around. So what we see here is a third input, not the Mevo Start, not the scan converter, the, the, the MacBook screen. But what we see here is a third input that is the PIVO that can be used as a following camera, a camera that follows wherever you go. The downside that I see and the part that I'm trying to work out here, hopefully, maybe, um, is that you see the square around me. You see the features of the app that's being broadcast with the app. The color correction is a little bit off. Um, that may be from the PIVO app itself. It may be from the, uh, from the iPhone camera. I can't really tell the difference at this point. But, uh, but to be able to pull all those little icons off of the screen that you see in front of you there, um, that would be a, a great benefit, and this would become a very useful tool. Um, it can be a, it can be a, a useful uh, B-roll, second camera, that follows you around whenever you're streaming through OBS or like we do here through ProPresenter. Uh, but I know it's a short video. That's okay. I, I did want you to see this. Take you back through my sources one more time. Scene 2 is the Mevo Start. And that's what we get to talk to you on here. Uh, that's something we use all the time. It's something that's a very valuable tool. Scene three that I have here now, you're going to be able to see it on, uh, on your screen as well. You can see that uh, you can pull in a desktop to, to show your audience the environment that you're looking at. And then, of course, scene two was the PIVO. And that is the third option that we wanted to, to give. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, uh, do so. I'd appreciate your support of, of it and it would let me know to keep producing content. And I always would love for you to, to like the, the video because of the way YouTube uh, presents videos to more and more people. The more likes it gets, the better off it is. So uh, thanks for, for looking at this uh, piece of kit for streaming uh, as, as one of my favorite things.